This video is going to be for all the self learners out there, wherever you are. And that is because I believe that we're defined by the things that we know and the things that we don't know. And for so long, I've been a self learner myself. And I know I identify with these questions. How do you stay consistent? Or better yet, if you're starting to learn something new, how do you get that motivation kicking at the first time? And so in this video, I'll be sharing with you all the things that I'm learning and how I managed to stick to them. So I've thought really hard about this effect of being self-driven, where it came from, and I had to go way, way back when I was in high school. There was a point in 7th or 8th grade, I almost failed that class, and uh, everybody thought that I was going to repeat, I thought I was going to repeat, but then almost like a switch happened, and I really worked so hard so that I cannot repeat, so that I can go to the next class. That has always been a shift in my life. Since I was able to do that, I can do anything else as long as I put my efforts, a lot of efforts into it, I can actually succeed. So I want to tie this to this ability that I see within artists or athletes. So you might say that it's called the growth mindset rather than having a fixed mindset. According to Carl Dweck, author of the growth mindset and the fixed mindset, you need the growth mindset to be able to just keep growing yourself. The society that we live in, we value so much something that, that gives us the gratification instantly. A lot of artists or athletes, you find that they've built this skill of not wanting to get the gratification instantly. For an athlete, it's non-existent. You can't practice once and just become better at swimming or become better at running. That is a lot of hours that you need to put in there. For me, this is a mindset. At least I know that there is nothing that comes instantly and therefore I need to work in order to get the fruits that I'm looking for. The ability to tell yourself to take it easy. How can you handle everything all at once? I know we like to multitask, but most of the time it's not possible. Usually our brains cannot handle most things at the same time. Basically what I'm trying to say is that some activities definitely can not work together. I think we confuse this a lot of the times. I like writing and so most of the time when I'm writing, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of thinking because I need to think really hard what I'm writing. Otherwise, I'll be lying to myself that I'm writing. If I try to combine writing with another thing or like scrolling on the internet, it definitely doesn't work. The information is readily available to anybody who is out there to look for it. One of the things that I'm learning as I am becoming a good content creator, let's put it that way. I need to know how to craft my content, my art, and that is one of the skills that I'm learning. Sadly, in the world that we live in, you might be having the best message ever, you might be having the best content ever, but if you don't know how to put it out there, if you don't know how to present it, people will not watch it, and that's the sad reality. Basically for me, it is telling me that, oh, you need to just build your skills and that's totally fine. And that's where marketing basically comes in. For me is to make sure I redefine learning and I inspire people about self-learning. And so I hope that I can do this very nicely. I did a lot of courses prior to this. Go back and see my videos and maybe all the writings that I've done, you'll see a lot of change. And that is because I'm changing as a person and I'm seeing what works and what doesn't. Now, we're slowly getting into the things that I'm learning and I hope you really pay attention because maybe you might learn one or two things. So books are great resources that I have used so far when it comes to gaining knowledge. And I will say that a lot of people, even me included, used to have this mindset that I need to read so many books. But if you're not reading something that is of value to yourself, you're actually lying to yourself. And you read so many books, but you cannot remember what you read about. Don't start to read any books. Start to read something that is of interest for you. I am interested in learning. I am interested in the ability to build that mastery. And I've seen that I've found so many books about that. I'm currently reading the 20 hours of learning, the first 20 hours of learning something. And when I was reading this book, I just found that this is exactly what I'm looking for. Find something that you're so interested in. What would you like to know more of? And then read about it, you know, very deeply. I'm so interested in nonfiction book and it might not be the case maybe in like 10 years to come, but at least I'm aligned with what I stand for currently. I want to grow as a person and so 
the only way to do that is to consume books of people who have you know passed through life or who have passed through something that i'm that's similar to me another thing that i'm so interested in maybe you know it by just you know watching my channel yesterday i checked that this month i've done 10 hours of korean and that is just active learning i'm not putting there you know passive learning such as watching k dramas or listening to k shows maybe even listening to music because i account that as part of my learning a long time ago i used to be a very high consumer of podcasts although that has changed but now i have a different way that i approach it by you know finding a person who's of interest just like i say and then going and find that knowledge more and how do you even know that you have learned this but we still just feel like we learned it is just by waking up one day and realizing oh i understand this oh you know i understand that and so once you find that interest or that niche that you're so interested in to the next step is to track it so it's almost like telling yourself oh i will show up to do this certain thing not another thing it would be even interesting to look at what i did in this whole year because you know what you can't know how much you've studied but you can know how long you studied for so so far you have learned about having a why and why it is important and you've also learned about finding your interest and managing that interest through sticking to a consistent habit. Knowledge is a combination of sources combined and the people that you talk to and the books and the audiobooks and all the things that you consume that makes up the knowledge that you have currently. If you watch this video till the end, do we have anything in common? Has anything stuck with you? I would like to know. Also, let me know what you're currently learning and what you would like to get better at. I'm so happy that you watched this video till the end. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can see other materials in the future. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter that I talk more about. And I'll see you next week. Bye.